Rita, thank you very much indeed. Uh, hello, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good day. Now, coming up on the programme tonight, the man who flew to Turkey to get his teeth fixed because he couldn't find a dentist here. Going to be talking about this tonight. Would you be prepared to go abroad to have dental work? What does it say about the state of dentistry in this country and how difficult have you found it to get an appointment? Would you go abroad? Maybe you've already been. Uh, get in touch with us. We're going to be talking about this tonight. If you want to uh, email in, the email address is there or follow me on Twitter, Peter underscore Levy tweet now get it straight away here in the studio look forward to hearing from you all of the day's news of course including a murder investigation begins after a woman dies in an east yorkshire town also tonight how snout power is helping plants and insects to thrive on a lincolnshire estate and a hollywood film star makes a surprise visit to look at antiques in a lincolnshire village Busy programme. Good evening, young man. You'll be in that lineup then, Peter. A cold and at times wintry week to come. Join me for that all important detail forecast. Yes, when David Moore's dentist shut down, he was only days away from an appointment to get his broken tooth fixed. And to his horror, he discovered there wasn't a single dentist in his hometown of Bridlington who was taking on new patients. With nowhere else to get the work done, David flew the two and a half thousand miles to Turkey instead. He's been talking to our health correspondent, Amri Tasker. You can't get an NHS dentist in Grantham for love nor money. Well, let us know what you think about this one. If you're struggling to uh, see a dentist at the moment, have you considered visiting one abroad for treatment like David has done? Maybe you're receiving treatment from an overseas dentist already. Are you looking at going to Turkey? Here's how to uh, get in touch. Uh, maybe uh, you already got booked in to go to Turkey or thinking about it, or maybe you wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Let me know and uh, your views on dentists tonight. If you want to get in touch, uh, the email address is there. Uh, text number 81333, 3, 3. start text with the word look north or follow me on Twitter and tweet. Now we have some at the end of the programme and of course you've got all evening, we'll have some more uh, tomorrow night as usual. A man remains in police custody this evening following the discovery of a woman's body at a house in Market Wheaton in East Yorkshire. The 39-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Crispin Rolfe has this report. A Hull-based charity which helps armed forces veterans is holding its first meetings in Scunthorpe this week. Hull for Heroes will use the new armed forces hub in the town to host talking groups in memory of two people who took their own lives after serving in the army. We'll be hearing more about that in a moment. But first, Joe Makel has visited the Scunthorpe hub to see that the work that they, they do now, uh, tonight's photograph, here it is. It was uh, Cleethorpe's taken by Cheryl Mortlock. Cheryl, thank you very much indeed. We love to get the pictures, uh, keep them coming in. We'll have another picture uh, tomorrow night, round about the same time. Uh, good evening, young man. How are, you? <laughs> How are you doing, Peter? I'm I'll, very tell really... you, I'll tell you what, you'll never get away with calling me small Paul again, will you? <laughs> Can I just say your head has never looked so big? <laughs> oh, that must be nice for the viewers. And by the way, there's a lot of light bouncing off that forehead oh, now. I bet there is. It's like a beacon. I've had one or two messages i don't know what happened but saying actually you look better in the dark peter would you like to enlighten me uh the lights yeah. went out on friday night and a lot of people thought it was an improvement to be well, absolutely honest well definitely let's uh, let's turn them off again anyway let me give you the forecast because that's more important and uh, it does look as though we're going to see a cold snap of uh, weather this week uh, so peter that's the forecast. Yeah, I can see right up your nostrils as well. It's not a pretty oh, sight. Oh, I'll have, well, have to get my nose razor yeah, well, out then. <laughs> you, can look, you can look down on me every day, which you uh, will find it's that quite easy. It's a real to... treat. I mean, just look at the size of me. I look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice evening. See you, Peter. All right, take care. I travelled to Driffield, the dentist, which is even closer. Thank you for those. Keep them coming in. We'll have some more uh, tomorrow night as uh, usual. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. See you later on. Bye for now.